In this second video we will explore the environment and lighting possibilities in Maxwell. Open the scene we provide to follow this video. Select camera 2 which offers a more distant view. We also provide a backdrop .mxm yellow material to be applied in the backdrop. Select it and drag it over the backdrop object in the viewport. Set one minute as the render time per frame in the engine tab. Select an output file, format and path for the render to be stored. The Maxwell environment settings contain the environment types. The main options are sky dome, physical sky, image based and none. Choose Sky Dome which allows you to set a lighting dome surrounding the scene. You can set the colour and intensity of the dome light. It produces a nice and easy lighting setup. The rendering process will go on until the render time you set in the output engine tab is reached. You can also specify the level of quality, sampling level to be reached. Of course you can manually stop the render by hitting the stop button. Now let's explore the image-based lighting possibilities. Choose Image Base to set an HDR image lighting your scene. Browse to the HDR image we provide with this scene. You can adjust the image environment settings from the Environment tab. Hit Render to let the image illuminate your scene. As you may know, this is a very common technique that uses high dynamic range images for lighting 3D scenes, as well as for reflection, refractions and backgrounds. HDRI or MXI files can be used. You will get the light intensity and colours that were captured in the HDR image. Now let's talk about emitters. The scene contains three simple planes that are going to be used as emitters. In real life, all light sources have their own surface and volume. It is the same in Maxwell. Light sources are always emitting materials applied to actual geometry. This creates a more natural and accurate result. Temporarily disable the environment contribution by selecting None in the environment type. Enable multi-light. Apply a Maxwell material to one plane and select emitter using the wizard. The wizard helps you to create materials step by step. Choose the colour with the colour picker and set the power in watts. You can tweak the emitter and even preview the emitter material in the Maxwell material editor using the refresh preview icon. Create and apply emitters to the three planes. The Maxwell Material Editor is where you will create and adjust your materials, including emitters.
You can remove the yellow backdrop material if you want to see the contribution of the emitters alone. Enable Multi-Light and temporarily disable the environment contribution by selecting None in the environment type. Now you can render to see the emitters in action. Multi-light is a very interesting feature. When enabled, the renderer stores the contribution of each light separately, allowing you to adjust each light source contribution with the slider during the render or even after it finishes. You can mute one light using the M button or hit the S button to display it in solo mode. This is an extremely useful feature that allows you to decide the lighting setup while watching the result in real time. You do not have to relaunch the render for each and every change. This gives you full control over the result. Now let's explore the physical sky capabilities. Hide the emitters and disable multi-light to see the environment contribution alone. Select physical sky on the environment settings. Enable use sun to ensure sun direct illumination. The sun orientation can be shown in the SOLIDWORKS viewport. You can control the atmospheric conditions like ozone, water thickness, turbidity or atmospheric scattering. You can set the time by setting the hour, date and location from a preset list of cities or by latitude, longitude. Maxwell will automatically recreate the lighting conditions of that specific moment and location. You can adjust the render exposure by adjusting the film sensitivity, ISO, and shutter speed at any time, during the rendering process or even after the render has finished. Check the Maxwell Manual to get a more in-depth explanation of all these physical concepts and how to use them in your scenes. What about animation? Of course you can use Maxwell to render your animated sequences from SOLIDWORKS. To create a simple turntable animation in SOLIDWORKS, you can use the Maxwell Turntable Animation Wizard. This helps you to create a simple camera turntable around your scene. Hit Export. All frames are exported to separate MXS files and rendered in Maxwell. After the render, you will get your rendered sequence in your output path. 
you must set the rendering time per frame with the render time parameter, or set a desired sampling level, level of quality, in the Engine tab.